Yes. Yes. That's my PB smallest fish ever. <gasps> Guys. Guys. Tell me this isn't a bass. Okay, coming to you from northeastern Pennsylvania. This is my parents' nasty looking pond. Um, significant for me, this is the first time I've been uh, back to my parents' house and seen them since uh, this whole pandemic started. Uh, so uh, that's nice. Um, haven't caught anything here since uh, last summer, I think. So. Um, Let's review. We've got pumpkin seed, green sunfish, bluegill, yellow perch, brown bullhead, golden shiner, creek chub. I think that's it. Used to be bass. You hear this every year. This is the fourth time we've done this. Fifth time that I've done this. Like five summers I've been checking and no bass. There used to be pickerel here too. So uh, I'm going to put the chesty on. We just got earthworms, the ultralight setup under a bobber. Um, see if anything comes up. I'm starting from a different side this time, but uh, it's all pretty nasty until you get over there and that's hard to get to. So we'll see how it goes. All right, my uh, live bait under the float got snagged on the first cast, of course. And so is this probably, but we're going back to the Panther Martin kit. Why not? We have caught stuff on small Panther Martin spinners here before. Watch the tape. God, everything, everything has to go wrong. Well, guys, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. King Fisher. Oh guys, I feel like as far as getting around the banks, you're not afraid to wade in the muck. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier for you. Ooh, it's definitely cooler. The water is cooler over here. Fish might like that on a 90 degree day. Let's see, Let's see. It's a fish, tiny, something tiny. What do we got? Bluegill. Okay. No surprises. It's a cleaner looking bluegill than the ones I catch over there in the oily, mucky side. All right, bluegill. All right, for some reason, the lure just flew off, but that's okay, because I was just thinking about going back to live bait again. Okay, just a little night crawler, tied tight to the hook. It's a little hook, I forget the size, a little split shot, a little float. I'll cast once here, but then I think I'm going to go back to the mucky stuff. Looper reel. Ah, oh, boy. I'm okay, folks. I'm okay. Oh, awesome. Damn it. Okay, what a slog. But finally back to where we were. Now we're going live bait. Yep. That worked, didn't it?
creek chub? Bullhead. Oh. Little brown bullhead. Well, we've seen them go for spinner baits, but much more likely to go for something like this. Careful those. Things are sharp. That was immediate, folks. Little brown bullhead. Hear him croaking for you? Cool. So now, feel like probably gonna catch some more of those. Another bullhead, another baby bull. Oof. I think that was the hook, but it still hurt. this thing going right for my bobber and get hooked bro you come in close you little uh, yeah you're lucky I pulled up the line you idiot all right let's change locations this guy's not making it easy okay so I'm on the other side the side that I normally go on but it's like more overgrown than ever and you know the kind of grass that cuts you every time? Well, this is it, and I'm wearing shorts. So I'm trying to just stomp everything down as I go. I'm not gonna go too far from this little corner I'm in here. All right, guys, I just broke off. Uh, not too much was happening. I was getting some little nibbles here and there, but um, I don't know, we might come back tomorrow, we might not. Um, but I'm going to go check the creek now really quickly. I'm going to try to do some genuine micro fishing. And, and again, if it doesn't work out today, I could come back tomorrow. It depends how exhausted I'm going to be. So, uh, all right, let's get to the creek. All right, so as we walk to the creek, here's what I'm using. This is the end of a telescopic uh, cane pole. Um, Someone gave it to me. It's not a real bamboo cane pole. It's plastic, but I just took the end off of it. Tied, there's two pound test, a swivel, more for weight than anything. And my tiny, you can't see it, but there is a tiny Tanago hook on there. We're just gonna put a tiny piece of earthworm. Cool thing about this is, chance for a new species. Um, all I've ever caught from this creek are creek chubs. But I feel like they're smaller species, like darters or dace, something in there. All right, so this is all the creek is. But I can already see tiny little fish. Um, ooh. And a nice pool here, actually. Yep, there's a, I just found a colony of something. All right, guys. That's our piece of worm. It's probably even a little too big. Like I said, there's a whole colony over here. If, it, if it's creek chubs, then they're very juvenile. Okay, got it on the hook. They're going for it. They're interested. What is it? Well, I like this, uh, cane pole anyway, but I think it's just a creek chub. Looks to me to be just your classic creek chub. 
Oh, but there's, oh my gosh, there's much bigger ones in there. Oh, there's different species. It's not just creek chubs. Oh, they're, they're going for the swivel. Oh, this is fun. Hmm. This one's different, but I think I already have it. It looks like a black-nosed dace. So, you can see there's a difference there. I believe that's the black-nosed dace. Alright, I'm going to go up here in the shallower stuff because there are even tinier fish. Oh my god, if I could land one of these. They're, going, they're all going for it, too. Oh, guys. Oh, I have to catch one of these things. Yes. Yes. Okay, well. I think it's just a juvenile creek chub. But... That's my PB smallest fish ever. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you actually swam off all right. I'm going to come back here for the slightly bigger ones. It's another nice specimen. Again, I think it's a eastern black-nosed dace. Uh, actually, that one looks more like a creek chub. Creek chub. They're getting a little bigger. This is fun. Creek chub. Oh ho 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 ho. Tiny, tiny bluegill anybody? Tiny bluegill. Holy crap, that's tiny. Another chub. Guys, tell me this isn't a bass. Tell me, tell me this isn't a baby largemouth. Holy sh! this is huge. I mean, the fish isn't, but this is huge news. Holy crap. Oh, gotta take a picture. Guys, that is 100% a bass smallest bass I've ever caught but that's awesome news because this creek 
um, you know, is somewhat connected to the pond. It's the same like watershed. And I haven't caught a bass in that pond in 20 years. This is turning very, very interesting. Probably the biggest chub we pulled out. Pretty sure that's a chub. Another bluegill. Another baby bluegill. Yeah, if you don't want these guys to swallow the hook, you gotta be real quick. Real quick on the draw. Ah, another one of these dacers. Nice dark one. I hope you guys can pick up, you know, that this is definitely a different species than the uh, chub. Whoa! Big guy. There's our biggest chub. Chubber. Chubby bubber. Okay guys, maybe you can tell the storm clouds rolling in behind me. Um, so I'm gonna hit the road, but this was a lot of fun. I think I'm definitely gonna come back here before I leave tomorrow. Um, there's something else going around in this area. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, maybe it's something different. We got like four different species in here. Cool, all right. We're going to State Park tomorrow too. So uh, rest up, we'll see you in the morning. Like and subscribe, fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace. Just in time. Woo.